Just want to do a quick video on my new, to me, uh, 99 Lexus LX470. And I just picked this up about five days ago. It's a 99. It's got a 244,000 miles on it. It's, you know, it's not in bad shape. I think it's in pretty good shape. Um, and definitely rough around the edges. You can see some of the interior leathers kind of seen better days. Um, body's got a couple of dings and bumps and bruises. I think we might have had some front end damage at some point. Got some dents in the hood. Both sides. Not not sure what happened. I didn't ask. The guy I bought it from. I think it was his, his high school car. He had it for six years, graduated college and, and got something else. So it's got new tires on it. Pretty nice. But uh, I can say a couple of dings here and there, but overall it's in a good running condition. You know, drive smooth, shifts mostly smooth. There's a little clunk going from in and out of reverse. I'm hoping it's just a U-joint or something in the all wheel drive system, but um, yeah, I plan to uh, I'm gonna do some maintenance stuff first, a timing belt. Uh, he gave me the um, running boards, so I'm gonna put those back on, see how it looks. But uh, you know, hopefully get it mechanically, you know, up to date, change all the fluids and everything, and then see where we go from there. But um, you know, hopefully I'll share some more videos about maintenance on it and different things I do, but just want to do kind of a quick introduction video to it. One thing I really liked is that it's pretty unmolested. It's got a, you know, aftermarket uh, radio in it, but besides that, um, you know, it's not a bunch of lights or other electrical stuff. Uh, ran with it, looks mostly stock under the hood. So that was nice to see. I think it's got a uh, maybe a power steering pump issue kind of kind of squeals a little bit makes a little noise so probably looking at that soon but and overall looks looks okay under the uh, under the hood here and like I said mostly stock so that's good the hatch works good as it should tailgate So everything good back here. Um, kind of funny. His brother has a Land Cruiser. And uh, when he got the third row seats out the attic, I think he accidentally gave me his brother's right seat as well as his right seat. So I've got two right seats. So I need to go swap that out. But they're in pretty good condition, looks like. This one doesn't lock in for some reason, so i got to figure that out too. Or I guess depending on which one I end up keeping. But... Yeah, looks good from behind too. Just some more interior stuff. You know, doors look like they're in good shape. Uh, the sunroof is functional, but it's kind of sticks and stuff. So I don't want to start messing with it yet until I kind of do some more diagnosis on it. Like I said, it's got an aftermarket head unit. Um, looks like he cracked the trim piece putting that in so this wood looks a little different from you know around the shifter than around the radio and the cup holder so I don't know if that was swapped out at some point a couple of rips and tears oh I didn't know that was in there I wonder what that is that looks aftermarket huh I have to figure out what that is but yeah might might look into getting a new uh, armrest or getting that recovered. He said he uh, restitched the steering wheel cover uh, pretty recently, and it's actually really nice. Did a good job on that. So, but I think that's about it. So, hopefully, this becomes a nice project car. Really wanted it to haul the kids around and you know maybe go camping and stuff like that. So that's that's a long term plan for it. So. Hopefully it works out. So a few things that are on my short list are 
this has like an automatic uh tilting steering wheel every time you get in and out it goes down and goes up to let you get in and out so i'd like to just dis disable that so it doesn't wear out the motors because i hear these motors are there's two motors and they're really expensive uh so that's one thing i want to do i don't know if i can or not another thing i want to do is uh replace this antenna so the guy said it got ripped off in a car wash and so the car has an automatic antenna so every time you turn it on antenna you know extracts and when you turn it off it retracts so i can hear the motor motor running every time i turn the car on and off so i'd like to fix that put an antenna back um i think i'm missing a lug nut so i already ordered that on ebay it, it came a couple days ago and then i also ordered a uh, third tail light on ebay i think i paid like i don't know 40 bucks or something to get one shipped from california new led kind of knockoff but uh get that and then uh hopefully get inspected but yeah pulling the carport gonna go ahead and put the uh the running boards on it now so after looking at this i decided i'm not gonna put these on i think it looks cooler without them but if you're curious you know taking yours off that's what they look like we've got four attachment points there but uh yeah i'm gonna leave them off for now